into the business um, segment, into the business courses. Now, I am going to let you talk to us about some, list some of the courses that are available. And then I've got some questions um, with the kind of profiles that people have that they've sent to us and how they can transition into those courses. So can you just tell us with, in the business field, what starts in November? You told us earlier. And then the degrees and the master's and what starts in February. Yeah. So for master's studies, we have two programs. One is master of business. You can focus in um, global management and marketing, which will include a combination of supply chain management, marketing um, strategies, uh, managing program for change, that kind of um, good, fantastic program. We also have a program. Um, the students can also opt for a master of business in finance. So if you want to become a financial analyst, um, uh, we for our, both our bachelor and master uh, program, we are CFA um, accredited program. So students can actually then we prepare students to um, have enough um, um, academic content to go and sit. They, they will be ready to sit for the CFA stage one ex, um, exam. So um, for both programs, for both masters, you can come from any background as long as you meet the GPA requirements. So you can come from, say, fine arts and wants to change career, you can totally do that. So we are, again, we look for the final year of your academic grades at B average. And both programs have a top master merit scholarship of $10,000 New Zealand dollars. If you achieve B plus average in your bachelor degrees, then it will be um, automatically assessed and awarded on the uh offer place so for example today i saw an application from your office the students actually was thinking about postgraduate diploma in commerce but i look at the grades the students were actually eligible for the master of business and for the um top master of merit scholarships so in this case your team will go back and say well the fees for pgd is this much master is this much it's probably about three thousand dollars difference what yeah. do you want to do yeah. Exactly. I think the, the decisions yeah. pretty obvious on what they want. Okay, that's that's really good, Annie. Yeah. That's why you have to star, isn't it? Annie, I do wanna um is it you've not talked about do we need to mention about any masters um PGs? Because there is a PG course, I think, in business that transitions into the masters. We, if you can so we we have a we do have a, a postgraduate diploma in commerce. So um, typically, you it is actually essentially the first year of a traditional two years um, uh, master of commerce and management where you do first year coursework, second year um, research. However, we, if we pick the right courses um, carefully, you could you could essentially pick the courses for the first semester that is same as the master for our master of business study, a master of business. And then what it means is you can do the first semester, second semester. And if you do like it, you can then extend for one more semester and complete uh, the master of business. There is a provision for that. We will um, ask for the professor to approve it. But um, we have done one case recently for your students as well. So the students, Typically, it was, wasn't going to start till February, but she's starting in November on that basis. And because of her background, she could potentially extend for one more semester and get a Master of Business in Finance. Yeah. yeah. See how she goes. Yeah. And that's really good to know.